Dancing on Ice fans were left fuming after Coronation Street's Brooke Vincent pipped Max Evans into the final two of the competition. The actress was delighted as her name was the first to be announced to make it through to the final two. It left favorites Jay Quick and Dan and Max Evans contesting for the final place, which the former secured. Rugby ace Max took the decision in his stride, though and was chuffed to secure third place overall. Disgruntled viewers wrote, I didn't like particularly like Max and Ale, but he deserved that top two place over Brooke number dancing gunnies. I'm sorry, but much as I like Brooke she didn't deserve to go through ahead of Max she is not good enough to win number dancing gunnies. Number dancing gunnies number doy how the heck can Brooke be in final two? when she can't skate on her own and no chemistry at all with her partner Max you were robbed When Brooke is in the final two and skates literally two seconds by herself Max, Cam and were both robbed by her They both deserve to go further than her Number dancing gunnies No surprise Ale is crying, her and Max were robbed Number dancing gunnies Viewers were also fuming after a problematic change to the final scoring process. While the final vote is entirely down to the public, fans were expecting to see the judges dish out scores for guidance. Viewers flocked to social media to express frustration as the judging panel consisting of Ashley Banjo, Jason Gardner, Jane Torville and Christopher Dean only gave constructive comments and refused to dish out score numbers. One angry fan tweeted, why aren't the judges scoring tonight on number dancing It would actually be nice to see if they have improved on their previous scores. Another put, no scores from the judges. What is the point? A third dancing on ice fanatic said, why aren't they doing scores? So annoying. Number dancing gunnies it comes after professional dancer Matt Evers had earlier revealed that the judges would still be scoring, but that it just wouldn't count towards the final result. He explained, now the twist is you get to choose who wins. So you've got to vote for your favorites tonight. Those judges' scores are just for guidance this evening, so who cares what Jason says? Last week's semi final saw fan favorite Jake Quick and score a perfect 40 mark from the judges. He came close to missing the final after suffering a painful thumb injury and was left in tears after winning tonight's show. Got a story? Email digishowbiz at thesun.co.uk or call us direct on 02077824220. We pay for videos too.